Wow. Good. Right now, I'm just trying to teach him that he doesn't have to be in this tight. No, no, no. To be able to control them or that fast. Good boy. Him to make the choice to go that direction on his own instead of me making him. Good. And we help change directions. I'm staying behind his shoulder because I want him to go in this direction for now. Slow. And when I wanted to change directions, I step over. Ah, ah. No, sir. No tasty treats. But they're nummy. Good. I don't think your mom and dad want to buy a $150 sheep. Right. Good boy. Good. 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 That's it. Slow. Slow. Yes, that's it. Good. Oh. There you go. Good. No. <laughs> okay. Good. That's a good boy. Good. That's it. Good boy. Good. Good. You're a smart boy. Excellent. Good job. Good boy. Good. Yes. Good boy. Good. Excellent. Go this way. Yay! Excellent! Good job! Good! Good boy! And this is called fetching. He's keeping the sheep pushed up to me. Good boy! Good! I must change his direction. Good! Yes! Good! Very good. Good boy. Good. Yes. Out. Out. Good. Good. Out. Good. Good boy. Exhausted, and when they're going that fast, they're not thinking. 
It's just, they're just in chase mode. Or to take it down, catch it. Slow. Good. So he's trying to keep up with you as you're changing direction. Right. They do have to pick up speed to get around sometimes. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good. And he's naturally going to their heads. That's an instinct that they have. Most dogs, because they know that'll stop their forward motion, which obviously it does. And it's nice that he has this much common sense already to just stand there. He's not wanting to bust and make it fun. I just gave him one good correction on top of his nose for wanting to bite. And now he's respectful. And that's a sign of a very good dog. He's very visible. Good boy. Ah, ah, ah! And I don't mind it too much, a little bit of a grip on a dog because sometimes it's necessary. Ah, 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 ah. Good. Wait. Gus. Wait. Good. It's easier to teach a dog who does have a little bit of a bite what's acceptable and not acceptable than trying to teach a dog to bite. We just have to show him what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And there's only two places that are correct to bite, and that's on the nose, or on the mouth and nose, and on the back of the hocks. Anywhere else, that's not acceptable. So where he's wanting to hit, you know, here and stuff, that'll tear a sheep up. Is that a, a bad spot? That is a bad spot. Where's the good spot in the back? The hocks. The hocks, the back of the legs. The back of the legs or on the nose. And right now he's just excited and he wants him to go faster because that's more exciting. So that's why he's what I call 